Hey all, welcome back to my channel. This is Diljeet and I make videos regarding makeup, skincare and lifestyle. This week I am back with another review video and I am going to review this Pixie Vitamin C Serum today. So if you want to know if this Pixie Serum is worth your money or if Vitamin C is worth your investment, please stay with me and watch this video. So let's start with the packaging first. So uh, the serum comes in this cardboard packaging nothing fancy just the regular one and then the actual serum is packaged in this uh, glass bottle and i think most of these serums are actually packaged in glass bottles only the bottle has this dropper that you use for the serum and uh, this bottle if you will see is not transparent it is totally opaque and uh, most of the vitamin c serums are packaged in uh, opaque packaging and that's because it gets oxidized so to prevent that yeah it's packaged in opaque bottle and then um, just for the same reason because it gets oxidized easily you need to store the serum somewhere where it's dark and dry you are not supposed to expose the serum to sun so if you have your vanity or your skincare place somewhere where you are getting a direct sunlight do not place this bottle over there otherwise your serum will get oxidized if you will see uh, the serum is currently in light pale or lime green sort of color but if it's oxidized it will turn to a dark orangish or uh, you know brownish sort of uh, liquid and that's when you know that it's oxidized and it's not really good to use on skin at that point of time and hence you know it's advised that if you have opened the vitamin c bottle please use it completely within six months because after six months there are higher chances this will be oxidized even if you know you have kept it at dry place or dark place whatsoever so yeah that's the shelf life of vitamin c serum uh, if you have already opened the bottle of course so now coming towards the consistency as i have just shown you it's a thin liquid you will see it's not too watery but a little it's actually a little more uh, liquidy than oils if you have used any face oils so yeah it's like that and again uh, this much i think it's two to four droplets this much is enough for your whole face you see this and then your neck area and then your chest area and most of us we just generally use serums or face oils or any protective skincare on our face it's really very important to bring this to your neck and then to your chest area as well because this is the area where you start getting wrinkles or freckles or you know dry skin and any aging signs at earliest so your neck and chest area is as much as important as your face and also do not forget about your ears do take care of your ears when you are doing your skincare routine yeah that's very important and now let's talk about the fragrance generally i do not like fragrance in my skincare at all this one when i'm smelling this i can smell something that's sweet citric just like laminate yeah it, it smells mostly like a laminate and when you use it on your skin the smell doesn't linger for a longer time once it's absorbed in the skin the smell will be gone we are talking about absorption yes it gets absorbed in your skin really quickly so um, especially this one this is not a heavy serum you know i have also used drunk elephant one and i think that's a bit more heavier than this one i have also used the ordinary one that's priced a little less than this one and that's even more lighter to get absorbed in your skin so if you are new with the vitamin c you can go with the ordinary one and then you can gradually go towards drunk elephant which which is quite heavy of course talking about the ingredients of this product it has quite a big list of ingredients and i do not have knowledge about each and every one of them but yeah the first main ingredient in this is aqua or water and that's best thing you can have in your skincare if it has majority of water your skin is made up of majority of water so yeah 
that's a plus sign for a good product and the second product that i see on the list is ascorbic acid so that means ascorbic acid is really high in this serum and if the ascorbic acid is high that means the serum is packed with the brightening and antioxidants with that i also see aloe in this i see a lemon peel and it has glycerin and after ascorbic acid i can see multiple ingredients and i might not be the right person to talk about this ingredients so let's skip on that part the vitamin c serum is known to brighten your complexion i'm not saying whitening i'm saying it's used to brighten your complexion vitamin c serum is also known to even out your skin tone while i have not really observed uh, any brightening in my skin while using the drunk elephant or this one but i have observed that my skin tone has become even it has improved now i was having a bit of pigmentation on my forehead area and then i was having a bit of scars on this area and over the course of time when i'm using this vitamin c serum obviously with my other skin care I have seen that those have got lightened so yeah I do think that vitamin C because it's full of antioxidant has played a good role in that next we will talk about when you should be using vitamin C serum I like to use vitamin C serum only during the morning time uh, for the night I generally like to use the active ingredients for example my retinols or acids how I use vitamin C in morning time is when my face is cleansed and tone i take a two or three droplets of this serum and then i press it all over my face i do take it to my eyes as well but not too much and then i press it on my face and chest area as i said and then i give it two or three minutes to get it absorbed in my skin before i go towards moisturizers or sunscreen i have seen you know, the same amount of benefits with this one as i was seeing with the drunk elephant and price is really a big deal on this one so drunk elephant was nearly around 70 usd or something and this one is uh, nearly 24 usd for 30 ml of the product that you can see here and while pixie is easily available within us although it's a london based brand it's also available in india now through sephora or you can order it through some of the online store as well so yeah now if you want to ask me if pixie was better than the drunk elephant one or not i would say that i like drunk elephant i was using that continuously but let's be honest the price was way too higher to keep using it so I wanted to try something that's cheaper but has same set of benefits and I would say that Pixie is really a great option to try if you do not want to splurge on Drunk Elephant. Now coming towards another important question that I do not want to miss is what all vitamin C serums are available in India. I did some of the research through you know Google and YouTube and I was able to jot down three of the vitamin C serums. So the first one is a skin deva ones that's 20% vitamin c and i have seen good reviews about that next one is a khadi vitamin c serum i have read a decent reviews about that as one well. third one is my favorite one which is neemly's hyaluronic acid plus vitamin c serum so i was really impressed by the list of the ingredients over there so yeah these three from skin deva neemly and then khadi are easily available in india you can get them from Amazon and few of them are also available on Nike. So yeah, you are also sorted. So yeah, that's all for today's video. If you like this review, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share it with your friends. And also let me know in the comment section below what else reviews you would like to see, what else product you want me to try and let you know if they are worth your money or not. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Video next time with another video. Till then, stay beautiful, stay happy. Bye-bye.